Um, today we will be. Well, I will be. I will be reviewing the books that I finished from November, December, and this month of January. It's not much. It's just five books. Um, it's kind of hard to juggle a lot of hobbies, but yeah. Let's start. Uh, I finished this book back in November, I think. I finished this when I was in the airport. I forgot, but it's Agatha Christie's The Hollow. So, um, spoiler warning, by the way, because I might say something that is a spoiler. I'm not sure if it's gonna be, but just take it with a grain of salt. Maybe I slip and say a spoiler or something. Is this my Tom Holland era? I don't know. But yeah, um, I didn't like it that much. It's not as butt clenching as I thought it would be. I tried to guess who the killer is, but with this one, I wasn't able to because I kept on thinking that if I choose that person, that will be too obvious. If you've watched, if you watched um, Knives Out, uh, Glass Onion, it's basically that. You're not going for the obvious person, but in the end, it was the obvious person, so it's kind of like that. This is the original Glass Onion. It's like, it's quite odd because it's a Hercule Poirot novel, but he didn't actually really appear in the book until, it says in my note, yeah, he was first mentioned chapter 11 about 90 pages in. He's not the main character in this. He's more of a side character, I feel like. So, um, that's something. Why I don't like it is because one of the characters, um, well, not just one of the characters, the victims specifically, um, he's not exactly a good guy and I hate that he got away from the things he did by dying. Yeah, and I don't want sympathy for him. So I wanted me to, I wanted him dead, obviously, and he did die. But he's kind of everyone felt sorry for him. I want everyone to be disgusted by what he did, but it's quite the opposite of what happened, so that's also one of the reasons why I did not like this, but it's okay. If you're looking for a quick read, even though I didn't actually finish reading this quickly, um, it's there. It's, it's good. Not in my top 5, not even in my top 10, I think. Next book, I finished this New Year. It's Breath Becomes Air. This made me cry. Trigger warning. Uh, so so much mention of death and to be honest this made me scared of living even more um, probably this is a memoir and the author had cancer which took his life um, cancer is a big thing for me because TMI it's in my genes so anything regarding it, it's just, uh, you know, it's not impossible to happen, especially if you know people from your family who've got that, and it's just, any time it could happen to you as well. And personally for me, it's not the fear of dying, it's the fear of elongating something that is so hurt hurtful physically. I just don't want that to happen to me, to anyone, even the people I don't like. The author exp explained it so well what the procedures were during his time and how he overcame it, the things that happened before, after, the treatments, uh, his family, everything is in here. Um, but this, is ki this is kind of a two-way bullet, I think, because it's either this will either make you appreciate life or it can make you feel afraid of life 
or maybe both is a good thing I don't think so well this is not actually that much of a line but it's literally just a sentence it says what makes life meaningful enough to go on living well of course if you've read that if you came across that line more or less you'll think of an answer to that question I actually don't have an answer to that question well if you do good for you um, keep doing that if you don't have an answer just like me that's okay maybe we'll find out and it's actually quite fitting that I finished this on the 1st of January it's the 26th of January today I still don't have an answer but maybe on the 300th day of the year we, we will have I don't know life's life's funny like that this is this is I recommend this 10 out of 10 a uh, beautiful story of a real person but really complicated in a way that I don't know how to digest the meaning of it it's it's really good it's beautiful 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 book get a copy next is well I don't have it I'll put it here um, it's flat share by Beth O'Leary I'm um, it was a night of temptation. I was really I couldn't I couldn't sleep. I don't want to get a new book. And I thought to myself that I wanted to read something, but I don't want to physically open a book. So actually that made me it made me want to get an actual Kindle gadget. I started reading it 2 a.m. finished at 5. It's it's a cheesy rom-com. It's it's fast. A uh, quick read. Had fun reading it. Uh, that's it. Do I recommend it? I don't know. If you're into rom-com, yeah, sure. Huh, another romance. And it's Scarred by Emily McIntyre. Did I like this? It's okay. Do I like it? Do I like it more than Hooked? Yes. <laughs> the setting. It's not for me. This was set early 1900s. After all, it's 1910. In my mind, I kept thinking, what century would Princess Bride be? It's around that. My brain never adjusted to this being in the 1910s. Everything that my brain is imagining, the clothes, everything. It's, uh, it's very old. So, it's okay. It's a not so good dude getting the girls. I like this one because I like this one because there's no damsel in distress. I like it when women kill in fiction. Fiction. It's basically a retelling of The Lion King. The girl gets scar. Yeah, that unconventionally attractive lion. Which I just realized I'm, I've never watched Lion King. I've never seen it. Anyway, um, it's it's kind of funny. Let me let me read something for you. Oh, it's here. Okay, so the thing, um, the scene is a. a a girl jumped into the river and then the main lead watched as she jumped as she drowned herself and then and then she throws herself over the ledge and into the water her body sinking to the bottom my heart jumps into my throat and for just a moment i think of trying to save her life eventually the bubbles stop popping on the surface spinning around i jump when I run into Tristan's broad chest. Everything all right? He asks, wrapping me in his arms. I smile up at him. Everything's perfect. He leans down and kisses me before moving his lips to my ear. Is she dead? <laughs> Nodding against him. <laughs> okay, that was just... 
It is time. Okay, before that, right? She was looking through the window, right? And um, they were conversing. So let me just, let me start again. Tears burst over the lid of her eyes, streaming down her face, her fingers gripping a large boulder to, his, to her chest. I was pregnant, she whispers. Shock flows through me. Was Michael just child? She nods, hiccuping as she covers her mouth with her hand. But he made me cut it out. Said one bastard child was enough. And then we go through that uh, thing. Eventually, the bubbles stop, stop popping on the surface, spinning around. I jump when I run into Tristan's broad chest. Um, when she spun, uh, Tristan was there, I guess. Everything alright, he asks, rubbing me in his arms. Nodding against him, he throws this direction to me. she naked because if she spun around and Tristan was there like if that was the window and I'm the girl I watch someone drown herself and I spin around the broad shoulders are there right right it should be like that right so that does that mean she's naked because he he thrusts his erection into me. If it's into me, that means it goes inside. If it's onto me, it's just a bulge on the surface of the body. Or maybe I'm misunderstanding this wrong. And it's just like the... Okay, maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> Not maybe that. I am dumb. Thrust is strange. No, but, it, but it's thrust. What? It's like... This is my reaction when I first read this. And this is my second time reading it. And it's still... Ah. But yeah. That made me laugh. Is it good? It's okay, I guess. It's... And lastly, there are things, you know, um, I don't know why I think that if I buy a book, I end up liking it because this, this is an okay book, honestly. It's about pirates. If you're asking me why I bought it, it's because of Uncharted. It's part of my Uncharted collection. It's basically just history books about things. Uh, specifically, I have a, I have a couple of books specifically about pirates because of what Uncharted game is about pirates. Was that a wise decision to buy several books that I didn't have interests before? No. The books are pretty, sure. It is. But, um, that's about it. I don't know. Maybe history books are not for me. Because I honestly got bored. I started this back in December and finished it, what? January? Uh, my eyes was just like, am I understanding this? I don't know, maybe I was reading, but no comprehension happened. Um. There's a lot of dates, you know? Lots of dates and places and ah, oh, This is not the type of history that I like, but to be very honest, this is quite a good book for if you want to read something about piracy. This is quite a cool book. Honestly, the author writes quite well because if it's quite modern. With the other books that I have, what was that? Um, Brief History of Pirates. That was, shit was so old. That was written so long ago. It's so boring. I mean, like, attack me, sure, but um, history is quite boring. 
when read sometimes unless you have a really compelling story to it but you know piracy is just colonization <laughs> do you know how many times i've read manila here and the spaniards this is in the 1700s the philippines was already under spain for like 200 years and that's basically it but if again if you're looking for a reference about pirates if you have a child a partner any person you think who is into pirates and does not have this one maybe this can be a great gift it's actually a good read if you're into pirates but i'm not so i finished the book just for the sake of finishing it being a little just weird yeah that's about it bye thank you for watching i'm i'm i will read i will read more books i'll try yeah bye <laughs>